welcome back to the studio and welcome to this week in the life with me as I work on lots of different projects at once. At the moment I'm painting a print for my January Patreon bundle. The theme for the prints this year is a hundred little things, so each month I'm painting eight to ten little items with a different theme each month, this one being art supplies, and by the end of the year I'll have painted a hundred different things in total. The theme for February patrons is planets, which I'm really looking forward to, and if you're interested in getting a print or two for yourself I'll leave a link to my Patreon below. But while I'm working on this let me catch you up on my week so far. I spent the whole of Monday editing late into the night some instructional videos that I've been working on for Strathmore, the paper company. Those videos will be up on their channel soon, so stay tuned for that. Then Tuesday, I lugged a whole load of dirty washing to my mum's as our washing machine has been broken for the past three months. While I was there, I got to spend the day packing the latest orders from my shop, and after sending a very strongly worded email earlier that morning, I actually got a call from our washing machine supplier about finally getting us a replacement later this week, which put me in great spirits for the rest of a nice peaceful day of packaging. It was late by the time I got home from that. It's been a really busy time as I double up on work, working through the weekends in preparation for maternity leave. So I've been really grateful for anything that makes my life easier, which is why I'm so pleased to have one less thing to worry about and dinner sorted with HelloFresh, who are kindly sponsoring this video. I've been working really hard over the past few months to establish some better habits in preparation for baby, including eating healthier, getting more comfortable in the kitchen, and varying my diet from day to day, because when Ozzy isn't home to cook for me, the things I make for myself are just... I'll be nice and say uninspired and samey. So we talked about using HelloFresh to make cooking more convenient for me and just more fun getting to choose from such a huge menu of weekly meal options, things that I ordinarily wouldn't go through the faff of buying individual specific ingredients for, which has also been a great way to keep grocery shopping costs down and being able to filter the meal options for different preferences like high protein or veggie to fit with whatever health and nutrition goals I have at the time. I'm trying to nurture my body with a varied diet of home cooked meals and really get into the habit of cooking and enjoying cooking to set up a great foundation for when my little one arrives. And that's just one of many habits that I'm working on throughout this year, so if you would like to try HelloFresh and see what a difference it can make to your time cooking, you can use my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen now for 60% off your first box and 20% off the next two months, plus free gifts as well. So thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring and thank you so much to you guys for checking out my sponsors. It is a a huge support to the channel. Anyway, I'm also grateful that prepping these meals tends to lead to less washing up, so by the time I was done with dinner I had just enough time to finish my evening with some friends over video chats, we caught up, discussed bridesmaids duties, and worked on planning the hen do or bachelorette party for one of our closest friends. But that catches us up to the rest of Wednesday which was spent scanning and editing the artwork, preparing it for print, and making postcards and stickers out of some of those individual parts of the painting as well. So here we are on Thursday already. It's another editing day for me, so not too interesting for me to be able to film for you guys. The rest of the week should be a bit more interesting, but I'm actually trying to get a head start on this vlog, which I don't normally do. I normally film the whole vlog and then edit it, but I have so many different things, so many different videos going on at once, and I'm so scared of losing footage that I need, deleting stuff, not realizing that I haven't used it yet. So I'm trying to stay organized, stay on top of it while I've got like, what feels like a million things going on at once. But I am going to stretch my legs now, get away from the screen for a second, do some stuff around the house before I finish off editing the rest of this video so far, and then moving on to editing a week in my planner video for Patreon.
Friday I didn't film much because honestly I felt really sick. I'd even woken up the night before that, just in the middle of the night, feeling really ill, shaky, sweaty, dizzy, had to rush to the bathroom, wasn't sure which end anything was gonna come out of. Luckily nothing actually happened, but that sort of kept me up the rest of that night. So going into Friday, I was exhausted. I was still feeling kind of ropey. So after my morning routine, the washing machine people came. It did not go as smoothly as we had hoped. They were meant to be taking out our old machine, putting in a new one, but there was an issue with the plumbing. And so they dropped off the new machine, left the old machine there, said that we had to call a plumber. Ozzy and I were so beyond done with this whole thing. It'd been three months of not having a working washing machine, going back and forth with this company to get our washing machine replaced. Loads of phone calls and emails. And like that day was finally the day that we were gonna have the replacement. So when they had left, Ozzy and I just looked at each other and decided we were gonna do the plumbing ourselves. <laughs> we just couldn't deal with it anymore. So we did, there was water everywhere, but we did manage to get it done. And luckily the guys that had delivered the washing machine were still outside. So we called them back in, they plumbed in the new washing machine and took the old one away. And we asked them why they were still outside. And they said that they had been sitting in their van talking about us saying how sad we seemed about not getting our new washing machine installed that day. So we explained just how long the process had been and we had a good laugh and it was great. And then that was all sorted. I've done like four loads of washing now of all the stuff that's just been building up since November. Oh, it is such a relief. I know that's such a middle-aged <laughs> problem to have, but I can't tell you just how good it feels to be able to wash our clothes and sheets and things here. So once that was all sorted, I still wasn't feeling great. So I continued with my work for the rest of the day, but I'll be honest, I did most of it on my laptop in bed and I just didn't feel like filming that. And then in the evening, I got started on what we're gonna be working on today. So today is gonna to be a life admin day. Whenever I'm working solidly day after day after day, there are all these other things just in general life that build up that I don't get around to doing. And after a while, like the pressure of all of these things starts weighing. I keep a running list of all of the things that need doing. And today I'm just gonna take a few from that list to focus on. So yesterday I started looking at reorganizing the kitchen is just a complete mess. There's so much stuff, it needs decluttering and I need like some storage solutions to make better use of the space that we have. So that's been on my list for ages to start getting into, but before that I had to sort of look into what we've got and the space and measure things and plan things and buy the things. So I've ordered loads of stuff and hopefully tomorrow, if I finish editing this video in time, I'll be able to spend the rest of the evening actually getting on with that. But for today, there is still plenty to be getting on with. So I am going to start making that list, pulling from the brain dump of all of the stuff that I've thought of to do in the meantime. All right, so first things first is fixing the wallpaper in this room. If you're wondering why this angle is so low, it's because I have been hiding this very strategically in all of my videos. I re-wallpapered this room a few months ago and I used the paste that came with the wallpaper and it just wasn't great. So that's been peeling for ages. It's actually tacked on with like thumbtacks just to keep it like out of frame, but it gets worse and worse every day. So I've been meaning to get to re-wallpapering in here for a long time. And that is the first thing that we're gonna do today. It feels so good to have that done. It didn't even take that long. Hopefully it lasts this time. I know that the bathroom backs onto that wall, so I don't know if it's something to do with the moisture or the heat, but hopefully this wallpaper paste is better. This is like a proper one. I borrowed this from my mum. I don't know, fingers crossed. I'm just glad that, that is done now. I am sweating, I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna have some lunch and then we'll get on to the next task. Okay, so next on the list, I need to order a new copy of our marriage certificate. We got married almost two years ago now, and I remember coming home that day with a marriage certificate, saying to Ozzy, I'm gonna put this somewhere, remind me if I ever think we've lost it. I haven't seen it since. I think 
honestly, that I have shredded it. I put all my paperwork together in a big bunch, any loose paperwork I put in one big inbox and every once in a while I will go through it, catalog it all, sort things into where it needs to be, shred things that I don't need, scan anything that I wanna digitize. And I think I went a bit gung ho on one of my shredding sprees and I think I shredded it. I really haven't seen it. It might just be somewhere that I haven't looked. I might have put it somewhere really random, but I feel like I would have found it by now. So I need to figure out how to get a copy. I don't know if we're gonna need it for like registering the baby's birth or anything, but I think it would be better to have this sorted now, just so that if there is ever a point where we need it urgently for something, we already have it and we don't need to rush to get it. Oh, while I'm here though, let me recommend this YouTube channel. So I already have this up on my screen because I was going through some of their videos last night. The channel's called Evelyn Art and there's just this really fun video that she made recently where she goes through my 30 ways to fill a sketchbook series and tries to paint in my style and just pick up different techniques that I've used over the years and I found the video itself really interesting but what I love the most is just her personality and also just how like in depth she goes in these videos so really recommend this video and this channel in general she deserves so many more subscribers I'll leave a link to her channel below now before I get distracted into the YouTube rabbit hole Let's figure out how to get a copy of our marriage certificate. Okay, another surprisingly easy and simple one. This is why I love these days. Obviously sometimes things can run over and be like big tasks, but generally it's those like little bits and bobs that I suppose you could do here and there, but doing them all in one day, perfect. I already feel so accomplished, so much lighter just having those things done. So we're ready to move on to the next thing. Right, so we haven't bought anything for baby yet, but we have been collecting different hand-me-downs and gifts and things from people. This box over here, I was clearing out all of my old stuff at my mum's house. This is basically my memory box. It's just full of, I was gonna say junk, but it's full of all the little bits and bobs that I've never wanted to throw away. I really whittled this down. There was way more, but this is the stuff that I definitely wanna keep. And there's some of it that I thought I could pass on to our little one. So this is Eddie. He was my teddy when I was a baby. Um, he's filthy and I need to give him a wash. So I will add him to the next round of washing. This penguin, um, if you've ever eaten McVitie's penguin bars, uh, when I was a child, I was obsessed with them and I ended up writing to McVitie's to tell them how much I loved penguins, how I ate them every day, how I loved all the jokes on the back of the chocolate bar. And they sent me this penguin, so I've always kept it. And again, I think we'll add it to the collection of things that we'll give to baby eventually. This is an old duvet cover from like my first bed. I don't think I will use it as an actual duvet cover, but I thought I could make something like a quilt or something out of this pattern here, but that's not like a to do right now kind of thing. So I wanna use one of these boxes to store all the stuff that we don't need yet. So there's quite a lot of stuff in these bags over here that is like for different ages. I've also started putting some clothes away in these drawers, but this is all the storage that we have for baby stuff. So this drawer and this drawer, and they're already full. So I need to sort out what we need immediately and what we don't need. But in those bags back there is clothes of different ages, a lot of stuff from my friend Stella, clothes that her baby has grown out of. So I just need to go through like the different ages and anything that we don't need right now, put in one of these storage boxes and then sort out the stuff that's already in these drawers. But yeah, most of the stuff in here is stuff that I can put away like in the loft, like it's not stuff that we're gonna be using for baby, but I wanted to go through, make sure that if there is anything, I will set it aside. I've also got Ozzy's Buzz and Woody that we'll keep aside for baby as well. He was actually gonna get rid of these, but I thought they're a bit too special. And these were his favorite toys growing up. So I'm making a pile for toys and books that I'm gonna put in the living room, just find a place for that stuff there. Obviously it's not stuff that she's gonna use straight away, but it's not gonna take up too much space. We don't have too many toys and books. A lot of the clothes and things that we have is just stuff that my mum has been picking up from the charity shop nonstop, but a lot of it is like three to six months. So I'm gonna keep out everything that is newborn size and zero to three months, and then everything else can go in storage and hopefully I'll have some space in here for all of it. Cause we really don't have any space for extra stuff in this room at all. I think I'm gonna put together like a bedside basket for things like this pump and 
bottles and nappies and things, something that I can move from room to room. But I need to get the basket to do that, so that's a task for another day. So for now it's gonna stay in here. And then I've made a pile of stuff that I can take into the kitchen and I'll sort that out when I'm doing the kitchen storage, hopefully tomorrow. But all of this stuff has been free. I literally haven't spent any money. Even the exact cot that I wanted, the bedside cot that I've been looking at, the snooze pod two or something, I told my mum that that's the one that I was looking at. I think they're like two to 300 pounds. The next day she found one in a charity shop for three pounds, three pounds. And it was a bit damaged. Some of it is a bit ripped, but it's nothing that I can't mend. I do need to get a new mattress for it, but can you imagine? So my mum paid for that because it was only three pounds. Definitely doing this baby thing on a budget. Obviously things need washing and being honest with myself, I probably will end up buying something if I see something cute. But I'm glad that that has actually worked out. Like I genuinely think I've got enough sleep suit, like the short sleeve ones at least here. There's obviously way more that we'll probably need, but I'll figure that out closer to the date. It's just nice to have this stuff sorted and a place for it all. And it's not just sitting on top of the drawers. This other bag is just full of like pads and things. So I'm gonna sort this all out and put it into the bathroom. Hopefully there is space for that. And Stella has also lent us this steriliser as well. So I'll stick that in the kitchen with the rest of the kitchen stuff. But we've made a good start and it's good to know now what we have and what we'll need more of. And now I can put all the stuff that's too, that'll be too big for when she's newborn into the cupboard. how smoothly this is all going. Usually on days like this, especially if I'm filming, I overestimate how much I can get done in one day, but we seem to be on track. Touch wood, we're getting on quite well. So the next one on the list is sorting out all of my nail painting supplies. I've been bit by bit going through the cabinet in the bathroom, trying to clear as much space as possible for more things like pads. And I generally only use like three or four different colors on my nails ever. So there's loads of stuff here that I can go through and whittle down and hopefully just have in one small container and that'll free up quite a lot of space. One day I'll sort it out a bit better, maybe in a better container so it's not all just shoved into one place. But I'm glad I have like halved, maybe more than halved, all of my nail supplies and cleared a good amount of space in that cupboard. Now, another sort of lasting legacy of my studio makeover that has been unfinished since then is there was a load of stuff that didn't fit in the room after I had rearranged things. So all of that paperwork that I was talking about, a load of journaling supplies and just some stuff for like DIY projects around the house that I always ended up dumping in there. If you saw my studio makeover video, you could see that that room was just used for dumping things that were sort of in an in-between. So all of that stuff has just been sitting just outside of the room and it's becoming a trip hazard trying to get in and out of that room every day. So next on the list is finding a place for all of that stuff. On a list for another day is actually going through that paperwork and all of those journaling supplies and sifting through, making sure that I don't have more than I need and hopefully whittling all of that down into fewer containers. Okay, okay, you know what? We have time. We're gonna start working on that now. Will I regret it? Probably. You can probably see now how me shredding my marriage certificate might not be completely out of the realms of possibility. I did manage to get rid of a lot, a lot of stuff dating back very far. Some stuff that was kind of hard to get rid of. I had a letter from the bank 
to my mum from when I was like 11, when she opened my first ever bank account. It doesn't really matter, I don't bank with them anymore, but I don't know, it's kind of sentimental. I'm sentimental about most things. So that kind of brings me to the other category of stuff, the stuff that you may have seen I barely touched, I didn't even look at some of those things. That's all like memories and journaling supplies, it could be like, train tickets from a trip to Paris, or a menu from a restaurant that me and Ozzy went to like a week ago, cards from people, just all sorts that I always keep because I always have the intention of adding them to my sketchbook and just like making scrapbook pages out of them, keeping all of those memories documented somehow. So I haven't really touched that stuff because it's all stuff that I will eventually get around to making sketchbook spreads out of. And along with all of that, I have loads of different like coloured papers and magazine cutouts and just all sorts. So I'm not gonna buy any more journaling supplies. That is a very set rule, but I'm constantly every day collecting more things that I plan on sticking into my sketchbook at some point. I just need to get around to it. And maybe that is a maternity leave task. Also, if you're interested in my plans for maternity leave, how I'll be navigating that as a self-employed person, let me know because I can make a whole video on that. But we are actually now down to our final task. So if you saw me bringing that stuff in here earlier as part of my last task, you would have seen maybe that I just moved some stuff to the side because a lot of that stuff is like the homeware stuff that I was talking about, the things that don't really have a place. We have a cupboard where we keep our tools and things. Let me just show you. So this cupboard, and ignore the washing that I have hanging up on here. Yes, I have been doing a couple more loads of washing as I've been going through today. I have a working washing machine now, I'm gonna use it. But yeah, this cupboard is what holds like our suitcases. This is all like tools and things for like home projects, but it's really disorganized. I used to have it spread onto both of these shelves, but Ozzy has recently taken over this top shelf with his like trading cards and collectibles and things. So I need to take everything out of here, I think, sort through it, make sure that we have only the stuff we need. There's loads of stuff here on the floor that I keep looking at, the stuff that was over there on the floor, and the stuff that I was using today. Like I had to take a load of stuff out so I could get the wallpapering stuff out because it was in this box and there was loads of stuff piled on top of it. So I need to find a way to get things sorted in here so I don't have to take everything out every time I need something. I do have like loads of old pots of paint. I actually opened this one the other day to patch a mark on our bedroom ceiling and it stank. So, I mean, I don't know if paint has a sell-by date, but it even sounds wrong. So I, I don't know, maybe I should get rid of some of the paint. Maybe I should decant some of the paint into smaller containers because a lot of these big pots are like half full. It's like chaotic in here and I don't know where to begin and I don't have good space in this corridor, as you can probably tell. It's also really dark out here. I'm gonna start taking everything out and putting it on the bedroom floor. not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I did manage to get rid of a lot. I managed to clear all that space outside the studio and everything is now sorted in a way that makes more sense. So I still kind of have to move things around to get to certain things, but at least I know what I'm gonna get when I find it. I still need to do a trip to the tip to get rid of that wood that's out there and those paint cans and there's a load of wood that's in the eaves as well. And I'm kind of planning on re-flooring the corridor out there. The carpet that we have, it's been there since the previous owner. It's very, it's off colored. It's a high traffic area. The carpet is a very light color. And my mom has just taken the floor out of her bedroom, like a wood composite. I don't know what it's called. It's like laminate, but wood on top. Um, but she's taken the floor up in her bedroom and she wants to get rid of it. You might have actually seen it in the background in my previous couple of videos that I filmed at my mum's house. So yeah, that is a DIY project for another day, doing the floor out there. I don't know, we don't need to think about that. That is a project for another day. For today, I have done really well, I think. I've got loads of stuff ticked off the list, loads of big stuff, 
that didn't end up being as big as I thought, but has made a big impact. And tomorrow I'm hopefully gonna get around to reorganizing the kitchen cupboards once I have finished editing this video. So we're gonna wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for joining me this week. It's been wonderful having you follow along with me as I got heaps of stuff done. Thank you so much for keeping me company and I will see you soon in the next one.